Hello folks, this is an ink dependence water test and brief video review of Diamine's Hope Pink. Hope Pink is an ink that I've had my hands on for a long time. Here's the vial, you can see I got this in a Goulet Pins ink drop, and I got it quite a while ago actually. It might have been the very first ink drop that I ever got. I remember it had um, chocolate from Private Reserve, and oh, what else did I have in there? And chocolate, yes. Uh, Noodler's Purple Hearts, and... Uh, this Hope Pink, of course, and Black Swan and Australian Roses. Hmm, that might be it. Oh, and Waterman's Red. Uh, I haven't used very many of these, oddly enough. Uh, this one, I, apparently, I have used quite a lot. I think I put it in one of my wife's pens to start out with. Uh, might have actually gone in an Ahab, and that's why it's kind of all used up. Uh, but you can see that this ink does uh, still kind of remain in the vial. I haven't really been shaking this up or anything. It's just what the vial looks like. So I imagine this might be a little bit difficult to clean out of a pen, so if using a demonstrator, I might have to use some actual pen flush or something to get it out. But nonetheless, I do quite like this ink. Uh, I use it in my Lamy Necks here, uh, which my wife gave me for my birthday last year. It's got a medium nib on it right now. It came with a fine originally, but uh, I've been using it in this medium as a grading pen, and uh, it's actually worked really well. I originally started uh, using this pink ink uh, because it's October and that's you know, Breast Cancer Awareness Month and such, and so pink is their color, and so I started using this. Um, you'll notice that if you look, uh, at, I pull this all the way out. Uh, this is a much more large format sort of review than I usually do. I usually use a Rhodia pad or use one of my Anderson Pens pads or something like that. Uh, but this one was done on some Staples paper that I got from my office. Uh, it's an Eco Easy paper that's made with 80%. Uh, what the heck is this stuff called? Uh, Bagassi or something, uh, which is apparently uh, uh, sugarcane waste. So that's fun. Uh, this paper is actually really good. I was writing on this uh, with this wet uh, flowing ink, and uh, there's where I did this swatch, the sort of smear that I always do, and it barely showed through and nothing else did. So, good paper. The only problem with this paper, though, is that it does take forever to dry. Um, I noticed very quick dry times when I was grading with this. Of course, that's on pretty uh, low-quality paper, generally notebook paper or whatever the cheapest stuff is. Um, but uh, on here, it took a good 20 seconds to dry, give or take. Uh, so uh, if you're using this paper, you're going to look out for long dry times. Now, if you look at this, let's see if I can zoom in. No, I can't. You can only do that on the phone. If you look at the swatch right in here-ish, you can see that there's definitely some gold uh, sheen in there. I didn't really notice this until I did a big swatch. If so, if you have a much wetter pen than my Lamy Medium here, uh, you'll probably be seeing some of this uh, sheen, and that looks really nice. Uh, compared to some other pinks I had laying around, well, really one other pink that I had laying around, this Platinum Pink. Uh, the Platinum Pink is much darker. I'll have a review up for that soon. Um, compared to the, some blues and reds and that sort of thing, you can see the brightness of this Hope Pink. Um, so check out Hope Pink. It's a really nice color. Uh, behaves very well on all the things I tried it on. Uh, no bad things to say about this. Let's see how water resistant it is. Uh, given how hard it is perhaps to get out of the bottle, I was thinking it might have some water resistance, but you see it immediately seems to come off. So let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, this smears right off. You can see a whole lot of it here on my tissue that used to blot it away. Uh, this one is not water resistant, even a little bit. Let's see how the paper held up to water. Never tried it with this cane paper before. Oh, pretty well. Um, maybe slightly less well uh, than Rhodia did, but this is pretty good stuff. All right, so this uh, pink will come right up. I, I was kind of expecting that. I'd hoped it might have some water resistance, um, given how hard it might be to clean out. I haven't tried to clean it out of my pen yet, uh, but um, let's see what's the inside of this pen right quick. Let's see the converter. I've got to screw all the way up to the top. One sec. Yeah. So it might not be that hard. It might not actually be staining. It just needs to be sort of squeegeed off the walls. Because you can see there, it doesn't stain the converter at all. It's kind of sitting there against the, the piston. All right, so that's cool. Don't worry about it staining your pens. Uh, I was incorrect. So, good. Good news for people with demonstrators. All right, there you are. So this has been a review of Diamine's Hope Pink. Uh, definitely check out this pink ink if you're looking for something to write a fun letter with or to write notes with or to grade with in case you don't want to use a straight red. Uh, this one doesn't bleed through, so it's good for us graders. All right, take care.